I've recently done an IG post um, asking questions for you to fire back to me. So I'm excited to do it here as it's easier for me to do this rather than to type. And I feel also you can get a better tone of what I'm saying. If I'm annoyed, feel my tone, okay? I think there's five questions. I'll give you back honest, um, honest feedback of how I do things and how my clients have got best, best success. Okay, questions are, are 20 minute sessions better than much longer sessions? Okay, um, for me, my sessions probably last about one hour, um, but that would include um, warm up, um, prep time, and a little bit of stretch and recovery. So my the actual main part of my work is probably between 40 and 45 minutes. But for me, I think it's all about, it's all about efficiency and and the time you have. If you can come in and um, get straight to it and maximize your time, then I think a half an hour session could be great. And then of course, if you're wasting time, um, spending, actually what I'll say is this, I think efficiency is key. I think um, being switched on in a session is, is key. I think if you're training for longer than an hour, hour and a half, I question your ability to stay switched on and focused. Now, we, we know um, maximizing form and maximizing efficiency, you need to be switched on and your head needs to be in the game. So I would say work efficiently um, rather than for a long duration of time. 20 minutes for me is a little bit too short um, just because of prep and getting your mind right. But I think um, everyone has a sweet, a sweet area. Maximize, maximize that and get to know yours. Okay, second question is, how do you progress with weights and how much to, how much to increase? Okay, great question. Okay, uh, all I say is this, how to, how to progress. First thing you need to remember is form is everything. Okay, so as you progress with weights, your form um, should not be compromised. Okay, as a general, um, uh, rule, I increase by 5 to 10% um, each session and, and in all honesty usually by 5% so if you do the math, if you're, if you're squatting 100 kilos the increase would be a 5 kilogram increase and now this is a safe way to do it so you, so you know that you're not too far off or you're not too far, too far short and your body can actually accept that weight load so that's the safe way to increase um, with weights Next question. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm at, I'm at Connect Studio. It's my new spot. Um, okay, stretching or mobility? Okay. Does it have to be one or the other? And, and if it is, this is, this is, this is um, how I do it first. Um, uh, mobility sets your session up. So mo mobility I call session prep. So um, I probably spend more time doing mobility because it gets it gets me it gets me into the right place to lift correctly. So yeah, the more the more session prep and the more you lift in correct form, the less stretching you're going to have to do. Okay, so um, that's how that's why that's how I do it for myself. But if you need both, do both. Um, it's just basically making your body feel. Um, making your body feel good for a longer period is stretching or mobility? Um, okay, good question. Does it have to be either or? Um, my, my thought process with this is um, I call mobility session prep. So basically preparing to, to lift or preparing your body to maximize your session. So I spend more time doing mobility than, than stretching. Um, the general rule of thought is um, prevention is always better than cure. So I prepare my body um, for as long as it needs so I can maximize form and complete the exercises um, correctly and um, at capacity. But at the same time, is if, I've, if I train and feel I need to stretch and feel like you know, my body's not completely in sync, I will stretch. However, um, going back to the same point, um, you should be preparing your body first and that is mobility. You, you will find that if your body is prepared um, correctly 
you, you won't need to stretch as much because you're working at a correct plane of motion. So, um, yeah, mobility first, and if you need, stretching afterwards. But again, each, each body is different. Is um, what should I be eating after, after a session? If you follow me, if you follow me on IG, or if you follow my, my, um, my mindset or my process, it's just about um, having anything that which is sustainable and anything that fits into your lifestyle. Um, for me, if I train, I usually train between one and three. If I train at one o'clock, I usually have lunch afterwards, and my lunch would um, would uh, generally consist of um, one third of my of my protein allocation for the day, and then. Um, mostly carbs so it'll be planting and it'll be a one third either of protein so it'll be around 45 um, 45 grams of protein and then it's it's, it's mixed um, and then again if i train earlier it would it, it might be a protein shake but it would depend on the time of, the time of day i train i think what's more important is that um, look at the whole day rather than a single meal as long as you're, you're kind of hitting your macros for the whole day, the allocation doesn't become so important. If you're not hitting your, um, your, your daily allocation, then what you have after your train, after your train becomes more important. So what I would say is just make sure you, you stick to your, your daily macros and your daily calorie targets and I think you'll be fine.